pretty locked in at the plate today. Swinging about pretty well. Yeah, uh, I feel good. Um, I'm just really trying to put some good at bats together, see a bunch of pitches, make the pitcher work, get on any way I can really to help the team. How about that home run? What did you get there to hit? And, uh, well, happened? the previous at bat he threw me, I think, six straight sliders that lefty did. And um, I didn't really get to see his fastball arm slot. And then in the second at bat, he started me off with a fastball, then he went slider, then he went fastball again, and then he hung me a slider. So I was, I was pretty much just sitting on slider the whole at bat because I saw it a good bit the previous at bat. So just was able to put a good swing on it. I guess what makes your approach so good and what do you try to do at the plate to where you can use both sides of the field? Um, well, 90% of the pitches we get are off the plate away. So I just try to get on the dish. Um, try to serve the ball the other side of the field, use the whole part of the field. I mean, there's a lot of hits on the left side for me, so I try to use every ounce of, like that one down the line earlier I thought was fair that uh, he <laughs> called foul. But, uh, yeah, I try to use the whole field um, and just work the count, you know. I don't, I don't mind hitting with two strikes, um, and I think that's a good trait to have. You're off to a pretty hot start at about a 400 batting average. I mean, is the ball, ball about as big as a balloon right now to you where you're at the plate? Um, I mean... I'm feeling good. Uh, like I said, I'm just trying to get a good pitch. It's all about pitch selection, being patient, um, just getting your pitch, really. Uh, when we get ourselves out, that's when we get in trouble. So you just got to pick a good pitch to hit and, and unload on it, really. So. so the third time this year you guys have won on Friday and Saturday. What would it mean to get that first sweep of the year? Yeah, we can't get complacent. We've lost a couple Sunday games, and um, Adam's been throwing the ball really well, so we got to back him up. We got to swing, come out, and swing the bat, have some energy, and um, I think that was the message coach gave us. So I think we will. You complimented your work ethic in the interview he did. Um, just how nice is it to see your work ethic kind of pay off and get at bats during crucial games like this? Yeah. Um, again, I go back to just being patient. I mean, from the start, Holbrook told me that I was going to be a big part of the program eventually, and I just kind of was patient and just trusted him and now it's kind of paying off but I don't really think about that too much I just try to go up there and have good ABs every time. Is that tough at the beginning to be to be patient and to wait, and wait your turn when you're coming in? Absolutely. Like this? Yeah. Uh, but I mean it was a big program and we were coming off of um, some pretty big pretty big wins in 10 and 11 and yeah. when I was coming in so I didn't mind. We had, there was some great players ahead of me Pancake and Griner and Kmart and all those guys so I didn't mind. I mean, I just, I just want to be a part of the team, really, and, and eventually he gave me a shot. So, Coach was talking about how you're a, a really intelligent player and you're kind of like a coach in the dugout. Mm -hmm. Where does that come from? Uh, probably, I'd probably say my father. <laughs> uh, he's been coaching for a long time, high school. Um, he coached me um, four years, well, longer than that, when I was younger as well, football and baseball. So it just kind of comes from him and, and just having a feel for the game, you know, I mean, Reading balls in the dirt and knowing what the pitcher's trying to do and not trying to get yourself out, like I said. But uh, just go up there and have a good approach every single time. How do you in impart that knowledge to your teammates? How do you go about doing that? Um, I try to do it by example, but um, I don't know. Before each at bat, what I see, because since, since I've been batting in the th uh, three spot, I get I normally get in a, or I always get in a bat in the first inning, so I try to go back in the dugout and let him know like what he's trying to do to lefties. I tell Destino to watch me, watch my at bats and, and other lefties like Danny and LT, just those guys if they watch what he does to me, he's probably gonna do the, try to do the same thing to y'all. So I just you know, just tell him if his change up's pretty good, I let him know, fastball, whatever, you know. Just try to let him know what I see. Not that you weren't always a confident player, but has it kind of grown this year as you've gone from a platoon guy to a guy betting middle of the order and, and, and yeah. hitting where you are? Um, I mean, it's kind of a little bit surreal. I just, I'm just trying to take it all in, and just, just do the same thing, do the little things right every single day, um, just repeat it, and uh, just keep the same approach. You know, um, don't get myself out and just, just battle each and every time I'm in there. It's the pitcher versus me, so I'm trying not to lose ever. <laughs> How about playing first base? Um, I think you played on, almost on the left side, right? Your first few years here. Yeah. Playing first, what's that, what's that transition sort of been like? It's not that bad. I mean, the ball comes off the bat a little differently, um, but it's it's not that bad. The the hardest part for me was just learning how to stretch for balls and, and go get them and when to come back. Um, but it's not that not that big of a deal. You just got to be locked in every time, yeah. every pitch. South Carolina has always had some. Uh, Great first baseman, going mm -hmm. back to Smoke and, and Martin. Have you thought about that and you trying to that's live up to that? 
No, you can't live up to those guys. Justin Smoke's a big leaguer, and, and Kmart could easily be in the big leagues in the next couple of years. Those guys are unbelievable players, and I'm a different hitter than they are than than they were here. Um, they were able to put the ball out of the park pretty much whenever they wanted to, and I'm up there trying to battle, um, trying to fight, trying to get on base every single time. Not the typical three-hole guy, but I mean, I'm just trying to do my best up there every single time. Thank you, man. Thanks, man.